Howdy and welcome back to the channel. This is Matthew Pizgotti. Now, as I mentioned in the last video regarding Seifu, there is no vested interest on my part to try to shill a referral link or anything like that for Seifu because Seifu doesn't actually have that. Um, they don't have that as a feature, so there's nothing I gain out of this except for adding more content to my channel and maybe pointing you guys to something that you hadn't seen before or you wanted a little extra insight into. Um, I'm always glad to share any insight that I have, which may or may not be a lot, but I can share the opinions I have on these protocols and let you know if they're making me any money or not. Now, it is also worth noting that regarding Seifu, I don't have a large bag in here. Um, I don't have a lot of funds to throw around into some of these projects that I didn't know if I trusted as much at first. So I only have about, uh, only threw about a total of like 212 in here. I mean, it's already up to 273, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm already seeing some increases, estimated about $32 equivalent at the current price um, every five days. That I would be receiving an interest, so that's that's pretty neat. I still think it's a pretty cool little protocol, uh, especially that I don't have to stake my tokens. I really like that that they just hang out in my wallet. So as long as the protocol itself stays sustainable, or if the price stays in a relatively good range, it's going to fluctuate, of course, as they all do. Um, but if it stays in a relatively good range and the project continues as it is. Um, there's a pretty good chance for a return, so I like that. I don't like the large uh, transaction fees that Seifu has, um, but I understand why they are there. Like any of these protocols, that's what helps keep it sustainable and uh, discourages constant back and forth buying, trading, selling, as a day trader might do. Um, this, these, most of these protocols that are meant to be longer term are not encouraging that because they do want the price to stay steadier or go up for everyone involved. So, all that being said, what are my other thoughts recently on Seifu? Well, I've been watching a lot of Brian Legend, um, the AMAs that he's doing. So he's the CEO, right, of, uh, of Seifu. He's got a Twitter page, he's got a YouTube. I, on a personal note, I don't, I don't know the guy. I don't know the guy, so I can't say a lot. I hate to just make, like, snap judgments about people. Um, I'm not certain that we would get along face to face. Um, you know, I just, I don't know if he rubbed me completely the right way. So that's just me being com completely honest in every way, shape or form. You know, I can't, I can't tell you why I've never met the guy. Um, all that being said, uh, I think that he does seem committed to this project and he seems to be fostering a lot of new, uh, maybe partnerships, things that he's working on. He has a whole, uh, roadmap, which we'll pull up on the, uh, in the white paper, which might be a little interesting to look through. Um, so that was the point I wanted to make about Brian Legend, was that he has these partnerships coming along. He, it seems like he is working on those step by step um, and being pretty dedicated to the protocol in that way. Um, and we're seeing some, you know, some real world action from him. He's addressing concerns. He's giving long AMAs regularly, answering in the comments, like he's actually taking live comments in the YouTube and answering those. So all those are good signs. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna, I would throw a million dollars at his protocol if I even had it, but I am seeing an increase in the amount of funds that I've put in there. So that's positive. You know, this is all percentage based. I, I have $212 I threw in. Let's say you had a thousand, you had 5,000. So just follows that percentage wise, you would have seen a pretty good return already. Um, had you been following along and, and done that. That's not to say his project going to last forever, but, uh, what other, what other like striking things about Seifu, um, have caught my eye. Well, uh, here's a real world partnership that he's that he's working on, which is which is pretty cool. So here's his Twitter update. Um, and again, I know my screens are sometimes a little a little delayed, but here's some previews of a of a Seifu racing car uh, partnership that he's, that he's thinking about trying to get some uh, some sponsorships. I don't know if this is already in the works or if this has started um, already he gave a he gave an ama recently about it if, if you guys know if that's already a thing uh if a team's already agreed or not um it sounded like it was not it wasn't a big name brand racing thing. i think it was a smaller a smaller range so not like nascar level or f1 or anything like that obviously starting much smaller but um, if you, any of you are aware, if you paid more attention to that AMA than I did, uh, you know, let me know, uh, if that's already in, in the works or has already happened, but I know he was excited about that. Um, and then if he's giving a, he's got a cool airdrop contest, I just did a video on 
not really a contest, but more just to encourage people to uh, hold through the month of April. So they're going to have an airdrop. They're distributing $250,000 equivalent worth. That's That seems pretty cool. Um, they're going to airdrop that May 1st after that contest is done. Um, what else does he have going on that I just caught wind of? Um, so it was those two things. So the, yeah, so the, so the race car uh, partnership. Oh, we're going we're gonna to look at the white paper. That's what we're doing. So let me pull that back up. So he has this roadmap here, and and this is what I just I like to see this. I like to see that there's a, a roadmap, and it's a long term roadmap. And that's the other point I was going to mention regarding Seifu is that um, their roadmap is like 13 years total. I, I don't know what happens at the end of that. Maybe the whole project just falls apart, or um, the decline of the APR is is steadily. You know, I know that it does basically like kind of do that having thing that half life where. After a year, it's going to drop. After six months, it's going to drop. So on and so forth. Um, so 13 years out, maybe the protocol is just done and he'll have created something new by then. But uh, that long term, uh, the at least the vision for that longevity is pretty impressive and, and kind of you know perks my ears a little bit that they're they're planning that far out. That's that's pretty cool. So you can see his uh, roadmap here. Now the Certic audit was a whole big thing you'll have to go follow some of that drama it seems like certic um i don't know if someone paid him off or what happened but it seemed like they they were coming up with some weird reasons not to audit the code and kind of backed out and took some of the money i think that's probably going to become a legal campaign but be that as it may um he has airdrop campaign on the roadmap unchecked because that's what's happening right now so i, I do see that that's a an action item that he you know it, it's on the roadmap and now it's happening. So that's that's uh, bullish. That's that's positive for this protocol. That's that's good. Um, he's got markers for five thousand token holders, ten thousand, fifteen, twenty thousand, and the next one is fifty thousand. So he's aiming for fifty thousand token holders, and then a hundred thousand, and then five hundred thousand. So it looks like he's he's on the way. And then he has other check marks for market cap. He's trying to reach a higher market cap. Um, here's some deployment uh, roadmap entries where he's going to work on a version two of the dashboard i don't know if that'll add any more features or just be better visibility i think the dashboard already looks pretty uh, okay there'll be a web store rollout i'm guessing that's going to be like some merch uh that's kind of cool oh yeah i see merchandising here ah acquisition of seifu racing team there it is so that's that's one he's working on right now and then uh even into the year after this so 2023 uh, he's got some migrations planned for a version two, so it sounds like he'll be kind of transferring to a version two of the contract. I don't know what um, improvements those offer, or if that's already in the works or being thought about. So if I see any more information, I will expand upon that. But he's got some pretty ambitious uh, roadmaps here, and he's planning all the way out until 2013. Although that's not roadmapped out, uh, probably just because of how far out those those dates sit. But uh, so so yeah, those are just some thoughts that have been sticking out to me on, on Seifu is uh, that CEO Brian, Brian Legend his his dedication to the protocol, his actual interaction with people and answering questions, uh, the fact that I am seeing a return so far um, in my own wallet that I, I could sell these tokens at any time. Now there is kind of a high uh, percentage on the sales, and let me show those to you real real quick. Yeah, 14% for buy, 16% for sales. So uh, about you know 30% total when you talk about a buy and a sell. So you'd, you'd want to make sure you made at least that before you sold off. Um, so there's there's that. I don't like that, but I do like that uh, the tokens sit in my wallet, and I don't have to do anything. They just sit there. I don't even have to be connected to this website and monitor it. It just clicks upward with new funds. So that's, that's really cool. Um, this whole fire pit. Uh, pro portion of the protocol that burns off the tokens into this into this fire pit address to to help you know the price steady. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, the racing team and some of these new partnerships he's talking about, and he actually had some other partnerships he was discussing. Um, and when I'll have to look through his AMAs again, uh, but I want to say just like Drip and some of these others, he's working on you know some NFT type type partnerships, and EMP's doing this as well. Everyone's kind of getting into the the NFT space and the metaverse space. That's just the new buzzwords, but it doesn't it doesn't mean that they don't sell, that they're not popular. I mean, we've all seen how much uh, revenue uh, 
bought and sold that these NFTs are generating right now just because of all the hype. And it may be hype, but in the crypto DeFi space, especially these little DGen projects that uh, may or may not last a long time, that sentiment, that hype uh, really does make a huge difference when you're trying to get in um, and compound and make money and then maybe eventually get out if it's a short-term project. Um, but you know, hold on for the long term. If it's longer term, that sentiment does matter. That helps create a lot of those price swings. Uh, we hope that there's more utility that overrides the sentiment in all of these protocols. We always hope that's what the developer ends up developing and coming out with, um, but that's not always the case. So uh, to see a, a CEO person, someone who's the main guy in the project, who's interacting and actually following a roadmap and, and coming out with these new partnerships, blah, 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 um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, hype buzzwords, uh, real or not, that sentiment does matter a, a lot. And building that trust in the community and addressing concerns, as I've seen him do so far, are all really positive in my mind or really bullish for the protocol. But I still have to circle back around to say, um, I, I don't know why I still don't have as much faith in this protocol as perhaps... I should. I know a lot of people are just kind of aping into it and really enjoying it. And I am seeing a return based on the tokens I have placed in. And I know that um, there's no obvious rug pull as far as uh, they can't steal your tokens because they're in your wallet. The price could crash, of course. Um, I'm not sure why I'm overly worried about it. I'm just I'm overly cautious about this protocol, uh, this little project. And I don't know why per se. But I'm going to keep an eye on it, and I'm going to keep updating you. It, it may just make a, a believer out of me. I may end up leaving these these coins in here um, or even reinvesting if I if I take them out to get into the piggy bank. I may come back to Seifu uh, just because I've, I've not seen any negatives. I guess that's that's my, my whole point here. Um, this guy supposedly had some other projects that didn't turn out that great, and there's a, he has AMAs explaining that, kind of what happened and what he learned. That's the only negative I've seen about this whole project so far is Brian Legend's past uh, projects. So as long as this project's doing well and proper and continuing on as it should, I just I haven't seen any negatives yet. So I'm, I, I let me know if you're in Seifu, you know what you think of it, um, or if you know the thing that I can't put my finger on that's making me you know slightly uneasy about it. I don't, I don't know why. Um, maybe it's just a, a feeling I have, but I'm invested in it and I'm I'm checking it out. So. That's my update on Seifu and a few of my thoughts as to, you know, what I like about the project specifically. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far in the content, like and subscribe if it's helpful to you. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment if there's anything you have. Join join the Telegram. Hop in the Telegram group with me. Uh, we can have longer conversations whenever I'm available. Uh, that's a lot easier than the YouTube comments. And there's eh, not a whole lot. There's 40, 50 other people in there that are willing to answer questions and help out. And like I've said previously, I'm willing to direct you to any of the other Telegram groups I'm a part of um, because I, I know there's people much smarter than me in a lot of those uh, groups and not just the Animal Farm drip groups that people keep getting banned from for asking the wrong questions, of course. <laughs> so, all right, you guys have a great one. Whatever part of the world you're in, have an awesome morning, afternoon, uh, night, evening, daytime, whatever it is. And I will catch you guys on the flip side on the next video. Thanks for watching.